In this My Memo AI tutorial and review, we're going to be doing a deep dive into an exciting AI tool that's really changing how we're all going to be helping to manage our data and our information and really help us to sort of boost our productivity. Um, if you're tired of having a lot of cluttered notes and you're searching effortlessly for, uh, you know, pictures, um, if you're looking for sort of articles, digital data, emails, all sorts of thing, uh, then you want to stick around because this tool might be a game changer to sort of help you. Um, and it might be something that you've been looking for and can solve a problem for you in your business and just in your general life. So what exactly is my memo AI? At its core, you guys, it's an AI driven knowledge management app that's really designed to help you organize all of your digital data and to do that sort of effortlessly. Now, you have to think about it as your sort of personal digital memory, um, but in a smarter way because you're going to be able to do and extrapolate a lot more data and information from it. Now, it's packed with a lot of features um, like AI content recall, uh, smart AI search, and even a powerful what they call called MemoCast. Um, that's a feature that sets it apart from other note-taking apps. Uh, for those of you who really love productivity tools, you guys are going to want to understand that tool a lot better. And My Memo AI isn't just like all of the other note-taking tools out there. This is a fully-fledged knowledge AI knowledge meant management system that really sort of analyzes your data, analyzes your content, and helps uh, information retrieval sort of seamless for us. Okay, so that's really sort of the point of this. Now, whether you're a digital marketer, a student, a professional, this app is going to help you cut through the noise of all of the digital information that you're going to have to compile, understand, research, and all of those types of things. So you're going to be able to get to the information that you need, straight to the information that you need without wasting in your time. Now, many of you have asked me, how does my memo compare to Evernote? Okay. Now that's an awesome question. We're definitely going to drive, dive into it. While Evernote has really been around for years, my, my memo and Evernote, in my opinion, are, they both do some of the same functionality and have some of the same things that they can do. But what sets my memo a little bit apart is the AI driven features that make organizing and recalling the data a little bit faster and it's a little bit more intuitive. They both kind of have similar things that work really well for them and when we deep dive here in a second you're going to understand what I mean. Now the My Memo app integrates with a Chrome extension guys so it's going to be able to give you quick clipping and saving directly to your browser. Perfect if you're doing any type of research or you're a content creator and you're looking for that information. Now what we're going to do, um, I'm going to give you guys a quick walkthrough of the My Memo um, AI Chrome extension. It's where you can save articles, snippets, and even annotate them right from your own browser. Now this is a seamless integration. Um, you're going to spend less time sort of juggling all of the apps that you have. Now if you use vidIQ for your keyword research on your computer, you may have some issue with that. Um, I know I personally did. You may not. I haven't heard a lot of other people say that they've had an issue, but I personally did. So, you know, it may conflict with some of the other extensions that you have. So you may want to just make sure that you test that out and it's easy for you to, you know, turn it off and turn it on. And if you don't know how to do that, guys, just come into the digital community and ask me and I'll walk you guys through a video and showing you how to do that. For anybody that's really looking for um, some of the best AI tools for productivity, my memo AI is definitely going to uh you know, help you out and it should be on your radar. You should most certainly be looking into it. It's featured right now on AppSumo at a lifetime deal, guys. Um, so it has over 102 reviews, almost at a five taco. So it's doing pretty good. Um, it's not one of those apps that's a bad app. So you guys will definitely want to take a look at that. And it's also a part of the AppSumo Select program. And if you want to find out some more information about that, um, you just want to click on that as well. Okay. Now my uh, AI, uh, my memo AI is perfect for you if you want AI driven knowledge um, if you want AI driven knowledge management that's that's your plan there it's going to help you organize your digital data um, from smart search to AI note taking from content recall from all of that information you guys are going to definitely want to make sure that you have it all right so let's go ahead and start with our deep dive and let's sort of take a look at this now <clears throat> let me just jump right off the bat tell you guys this 
I love Evernote. It is one of my go-to products. This is what I use to manage all of my data. Um, and there's so many things that you can do with um, uh, this particular product that it's almost bar none. I can't even, I, I will, I'm, as long as I can have Evernote and Evernote's in business, I'm going to have Evernote because I've sort of integrated my entire business inside of Evernote. Okay. Now, um, as you can see with the Evernote screen, this is your home screen. You've got some notes, you've got your my task, you've got your pen notes, you can integrate your calendar. Um, you can have all of the ones that you've recently captured. So this is a little bit more of a robust tool as far as when you have first entry into the system. Now, when you come to my memo and you first come into your dashboard, this is what you're going to see. Now, understand at the top, you've got your notes, you've got your images, your documents, your links, right? Uh, your videos, uh, memo cast, okay? And memo cast, you can set to deliver you the memo cast results. Um, I think it's either daily or, or weekly. I did weekly. Like it's only going to do one of these a week for me. Um, and so, and it turns it, all of your notes and stuff into like a, a little podcast and it reads it back to you to let you know about some of the stuff that you've included. Okay. So it's giving you your audio, your Twitter and your email as well. Okay. You have an ask memo feature that comes with that as well. Now, Evernote is now adding AI into the integration. So when you create a note, um, if you have a situation where you need to ask the AI something, you will be able to ask AI here. As you can see up top, it says ask AI edit or AI edit. You can do all sorts of thing here. Um, you can just type data um, or you can ask it all sorts of things in here and it will give you some AI, uh, you know, some AI things back as well. So that is available. Let me just do this test doc. We'll, we'll call it test doc. OK, so we'll call that test document. Now, when you come in here, um, you know, you can uh, select your text. Let's say, for instance, we'll go um, you uh, will go YouTube videos about AI productivity. All right. And so you've got some stuff here so you can click on AI edit. You can summarize, you can paraphrase, you can fix typos, you can, it'll help you write, it can also translate, it can write as, okay? So you have some AI options in here as well. Now, when you're using Evernote, you can insert things from here, or you can uh, click the slash uh, little button here, and this will give you the same sort of things. You can trans scribe audios and images here as well guys so you do have some options for that as well but because Evernote has been around for so long I'm going to be really honest with you I'm going to tell you right now Evernote cannot be replaced by my memo but my memo is going to do a little bit better when it comes to the deep diving and the summarizing in my opinion of all of your of all of your videos and some of your other stuff so take a look at what i mean here so when you click on if you put a youtube video here right it's going to pull your tags it's going to have your link here the source it's going to give you an ai summary some key points in the video as well as the full transcript of your video now for those of you that are doing a uh, youtube uh, research and you're doing youtube this is a great place, I think, to store your video so that when, let's say, for instance, you uh, want to make social media posts regarding a specific video. Sometimes you have to go into YouTube. You have to copy the link. You have to take that over the chat GPT. You have to put in your prompt and you have to do all of those things. Well, here, all you have to do is if you have your prompts already saved in another place, all you have to do is copy and paste your prompts and get the output from my memo. So that's going to help you move a lot faster in my opinion. Now my goal is to do a YouTube channel audit on my channel and I'm going to be adding notes in here on the dates um, that the video was published and what the what the keyword was that the that we were targeting. So all those things will be located inside of my memo. So it'll help me uh, instead of doing that. Now you can do that inside of Evernote, but the only thing is you're not going to be able 
to have an AI summary like this and your key points and an overview like this all in one centralized location with the ability for you to just add notes for that particular video. And that's one of the things that I think is really superior about pulling the data from there, right? Um, in my opinion, that's just my opinion as far as that's concerned. Now, if you go back to all your notes, you can even do websites here. So let's say, for instance, it summarized that particular page. You can literally come in here and ask this AI to do a lot more stuff just for this particular page. OK, so you can just go in here and just start typing, hey, give me some great things about this particular situation that would be really good or ideas for videos for whatever you want to do. And so you're only working within the information that you've put inside of there. Because, you know, sometimes when you're using AI, it'll start pulling data from like everywhere. And in my humble opinion, you don't need the data from everywhere. And sometimes that's why I feel like the outputs aren't as good. But this will help you guys, especially if you're a YouTuber. I feel like if you put your YouTube videos in here and you extrapolate all of the data from there, this is going to help you make better Facebook posts, better Twitter posts, all sorts of things, because it's basically based on the transcript of the stuff that you made because you, you actually have a full transcript here. So it's going to give you the transcript. You'll be able to use it. You'll be able to do it. And to me, that just makes more sense. Right. Um, and if you want to do a deep dive on your YouTube channel and do a YouTube channel audit you definitely want to do so now I'm gonna be putting out a couple of videos on this channel about how to do that but the rest of the series is going to be inside of our digital community now I'll put a link down in the description below so that you can come over and find more information about that so that way you can get all of the information about how to do a YouTube audit on your channel because it's just more stuff that you should be doing to get yourself into a better place with your YouTube channel okay all right so this is how you're able to do that now when it comes to ever Evernote, when we're comparing Evernote, Evernote has a tagging feature and so does my memo. My memo has a tagging feature as well. So when you come here and you're looking for a specific thing, all you need to do is go ahead and start searching. Um, you can search there or you can chat with your memories if you want um, and have a conversation about that down there. So they have tags that you can use as long as you've tagged it. Uh, you, you're going to be able to recall the data. So that's what makes it good. And you can do the same thing in Evernote as well. The way that Evernote works, if you look on the bottom of any document, if you look on the bottom of any document, you'll see channel research. You'll see VidIQ data and however it's been tagged so that if you need to recall the data, it'll bring all of the data back up for you. OK, and there's lots of tags. And um, if you go here under my tag system, it'll show you all of the tags. So when I bring up certain things or if I'm looking for certain things, it's going to bring up all of those things. So, you know, and it's real. The tagging feature is honest to goodness to me, one of the best features. And guess what? You have that same tagging ability right inside of my memo. So when it comes to my memo and Evernote, it's, they have a lot of similarities as far as the products are concerned. So there's certain things that you can do. Now, what sets my memo apart is the fact that you haven't asked my memos part in here already that's simply centralized located for all of your data and all of the things that you have um, regarding the, the the snippets and the clips and the articles and the stuff that you've already put in there okay so it's sort of more focused on your second brain and your information and it's already centralized located and you could just start chatting with it automatically so that's pretty cool that's why i like it you can also do what's called collections. Now, this is something you cannot do in Evernote. Um, you, you, can, you can have notebooks inside of Evernote. You can create a notebook and put collections of, the, of stuff inside of the notebook. But you can't come here and have all of your videos located in one place and start chatting with the ask um, the AI chat feature about all of these particular videos, okay, and pulling data for just regarding your video. So, in my opinion, if you are a person who makes a lot of video content, this thing should help you be able to make better videos, uh, make quicker videos, and also make sure that you're keeping up with all of your video recording data um, in case you want to make additional videos about a specific uh, product or service or video or topic or whatever you're talking about. So that should be very, very beneficial. And that's just my, uh, my opinion, and that's kind of how I look at it. And I'll be honest, this is why I 
I bought my memo because I'm going to be using my memo to help me with my YouTube audit of my channel. Uh, I can't put a whole bunch of videos in here, which you can put videos in Evernote, but I can't start asking the data. I can't ask the AI, can you take everything in this video and give me uh, six Facebook posts and all of this kind of stuff. It's not going to really do that for you. That's video specific to that video and the transcript that's inside of that video. So that sort of is the difference as far as I'm concerned with that. And so that is definitely something that you'll definitely want to want to remember and be thinking about, especially if you're using to try and do the comparison on there. Now, the other thing that separates it is the memo cast. The memo cast is going to take all of your snippets, your video, your articles, all of the things that you have done, and it's going to literally give you a, a walkthrough, a audio walkthrough of the snippet. Welcome to our podcast, where we delve into the dynamic world of startups, innovation, and the evolving landscape. Now, what it did is it created a three-minute little uh, podcast over of, about the data that you put inside of uh, mem uh, my memo AI throughout the week. So it's going to give you like a podcast summary. That is really cool. So if you just need to have a reminder or a refresher every week of what data you've put in there, that's really good because it'll just keep you up to date on some of the stuff that's in there. OK, now, like I said to you guys before, there is a Chrome extension. Um, I, I had a little bit of an issue with the Chrome extension uh, for my vidIQ because it was messing with vidIQ. So I just um, did. I, I think what I did was I quit. Did I take it off? I think I might have taken it off, but I'm going to be putting it back on because what had happened was, let me tell you guys what actually happened. I have three different YouTube channels. And when I register with vidIQ, I use one email for one channel and another email for another channel. So I kept having to log out back and forth, back and forth, and it was driving the vidIQ system crazy. So I had to go to the customer service department and get some help to actually do that. And so I'm going to put the My Memo Cast uh, uh, extension back on there. So it should be able to help me sort of navigate around there. And, and it, when you get to know me, you'll understand because I work so fast sometimes. I tend to do kind of kooky things like that, like put the wrong email in there and then it ends up having to come back. So that's just to give you an idea, a little quirky thing like that uh, as it relates to what I'm doing. Um, now, I will let you guys know I do have a live class coming up on Wednesday. You guys will definitely want to be a part of that class. We're going to be talking about keyword research and breaking down keyword research and understanding that better. So you guys will most certainly want to be a part of that uh, that lesson. So make sure that you guys hit the links that are down below below so that way you can find out about the webinar and you can come over and join us and we'll do our very best to help you in your business and to help you grow your business. Now this is just my comparison of Evernote versus um, my memo. Um, as I said before, my memo is a little bit different as far as how it extrapolates data and how it actually you're able to communicate with that data. As far as I'm concerned, my memo is a communication tool with the data that you're putting in there. So you can actually talk back and forth with the system regarding the data that you've put in there. Evernote doesn't really have that ability per se. It just sort of helps you um, to sort of you know, do certain things with AI within the tool. But as far as going through your data and giving you some different data sets and information, it really doesn't do that as far as I'm concerned. Now, I want you guys to let me know if you're having, uh, if you're using uh, Evernote or my memo and you're sort of using it in different manners and ways that you can kind of help the community out, leave me a comment down below and just let me know that's what you're doing. And then that way we can sort of start a conversation about that because that is kind of how sort of how I'm looking at it and I'm sort of looking at it in a little bit of a different manner from everybody else. So just make sure that you guys thumb up the video. You like the video because my memo and leave me a comment down below. So it sort of, you know, helps out guys. Um, that way we can start an exchange as it relates to this particular video and understanding the product and getting better with the product so that you can maximize all of your data, all of your information, and you guys will do a better job because my whole my whole deal is I want to do a better job with all of the data that I'm storing and I want to be able to do it a whole lot quicker.